Yo, what is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another video tutorial. This one's in After Effects and how to make an After Effects audio react template. Uh, there's a link right here if you want to go check out what we'll be making today. A um, couple of things. I'm not going to be able to play the music inside this tutorial. So uh, it doesn't really matter though because while you're following along you're going to be using your own music. But uh, YouTube is just terrible. Uh, it's all original music but YouTube has a problem with it. So anyway, um, you're going to need a couple things. Uh, for this tutorial, you're going to need um, some artwork, which is just um, usually 500 by 500 or a box anyway, um, whatever you want. It depends. If you don't have your own artwork right now, just go you know, get some online or something. You're going to need some music, and you're going to need um, a background image that kind of plays along with uh, your artwork. So I've got artwork here with... Oops, um, with the background with these trees and then this is just, um, I made that artwork so this is just the tree image from the background. Um, I'm going to be making a project in 720 so um, it's good to have artwork or the background image that's that big so it isn't all pixelated and stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm not going to be making a crazy great design. Um, that's not my what I do. I'm a music maker, but uh, I'm going to be showing you how I went about making that video that you just checked out. And uh, obviously you can add your own flair to it. And if you're watching this After Effects tutorial because you're an After Effects guy, then uh, obviously you know a lot more than me about uh, artistic aesthetic. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, composition, new composition on 1280 by 720 cool. And we're going to call this song. And um, I'm going to duration 1 minute 21 seconds. And that's because that's how long my music is. I'm going to hit OK. Uh, I'm going to go to fill, fit. So now this is the whole box. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is drag my song in here. It's good to go. Um, also, for some reason, After Effects uh, amplifies it, I guess, or the, the fact that this is a master track, for some reason, red lines. And what I do is just come in and go negative one anyway. Uh, that should be loud enough. And the next thing I would do is come in and go layer, new layer, and solid. That's cool with the white and just drag in from the side and just make a box like this and that looks about big enough and just keep in mind this is going to be embedded on another composition and the background is what's going to show and we also need to leave rooms for the audio react lines that are going to like go up crazy when the bass hits and stuff so we want enough room on the top and on the bottom. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my artwork on top of it and hit S for scale and bring the scale down. And what I did was just bring it over to the side and I'll bring it up just a little bit, a little bit more. That's about right. And I like the border, leaving the border, but you don't have to. It's up to you again, you the artist. But that looks pretty cool to me. And we might want to change the color here to kind of fit the image, you know, make it so plain and white. So we want to go to Generate, Fill, which will give us a color, and then maybe take one of these colors. That's a good color, I think. And the next thing we want to do is come up and write some cool text. I'm using Calibri uh, for the track name. I'm going to go bold, and I'm just going to write track name. Pretty cool, huh? And bring this over. Maybe make it a little bigger. That's important, the track name there. And I'm going to line it. Oops. And you can go ahead and lock that, by the way, now that it's done. I'm going to line that up, try to line that up with the top of this. So that's pretty close. And the next thing I'm going to do is more text. And I'm going to write artist name. And 
And I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to make it regular. And I'm going to take the kerning and just kind of bring it out a little bit and bring the font size down. So now that that's done, I'll put that here under there. And try to line it up. And then one more, I'm going to put in the light italic. And I'm going to put the label name because we need to give props to the label. Label name, highlight, bring the font size down. Bring it over. That's pretty sweet. And the next thing we want to do is put a clock in. So um, as you can see, the song starts here and it moves over. And I want to have a clock on here. But I want to have a clock that um, will change if I have to use the composition, a uh, longer composition for a longer track. I want to not have to mess with that clock because, as I said, we're making a template. So the uh, what I want to do is just come in and go here, and I want to change the um, font to regular. Pull this down, text, and then Alt. Click the stopwatch next to source text, and you can go ahead and download this. This is just a expression that's going to give us the clock we want that will always change as long as the uh, the composition length or the song length. So once we copy that, paste it in there, come out, and as you can see, the clock is showing up. And I'm just going to bring it over and I'm just trying to line it up. That looks pretty close. Um, and if you want to just go ahead and copy this, you can, or you can go download this text file from my website. So pause it because I'm not leaving it up too long. And now that that's done, um, as I move the play cursor over, you can see that the, tech, the time is, is t moving up to 2. So if we want it to be a little more crafty and maybe get a little more going on here, that looks pretty good. I'm going to throw a couple lines in here just real quick. Um, New, solid, I don't know, I guess white is fine. And my arrow tool, bring this down. And that's pretty sweet. We can leave it like that if we want. Um, again, if you want to go in and make that look a little nicer, but that's I just want to get this out and done. So I'm going to unlock this, and I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to go to Effect, Generate Ramp real quick. And I'm just going to bring this black over here. And like that. Maybe... Oops, I don't know. Maybe bring it back over a little bit more so it fades right off into darkness there. And we can change the color here. Click the eyedropper. There we go. So I guess uh, making the fill wasn't that important, so we can click on it and get rid of it. And now that that's done, I want to come over to track name and do the same effect generate ramp and I'm going to just kind of bring this over here and, and it doesn't do too much but you know it does a little and a little is good so what I want to do now is click on the ramp control C to copy and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply that here control V and now everything has that ramp so that looks pretty sweet and that's the first part of this tutorial. Now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead over and make a new composition and add the audio react lines to react to the sound frequencies of the music we have inside of the song composition. 
Uh, I'll leave a link up for it. So go ahead and meet me over there. I'll see you there. Later.